Okay, uh, transforming quadratics in standard form, which is an unlikely form to transform a quadratic in. So we're going to read through this question and try to make sense of what they're asking. For particular, for particular real numbers, a, b, and c, and real numbers are essentially any decimal, fraction, um, numbers like that. The equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0 has two real solutions, x equals m and x equals n. What are the two solutions of the equation a and then in brackets x minus 3 squared plus b times x minus 3 plus c equals 0? So what they're asking is this standard form of this equation has been transformed to this equation. So let's essentially write this out first. Normally some function would be equal to, um, and in standard form of a quadratic we write a x squared plus bx plus b and x plus c. Okay. Um, and what they've said here is that it is equal to zero. So when something's equal to zero, they're talking about when y is equal to zero, that's x-intercept. So whatever the quadratic is, it, it's cutting through something like that. So let's actually put a more permanent looking sketch here. Whatever our quadratic is, and again, we don't exactly know what it is, the two x-intercepts are written as m and n. Okay, so we have m and n. Okay. And then what they've done here is they've transformed the equation a little. Okay, And these transformations are something you usually see when a quadratic is written more in factor, or sorry, vertex form. So this is standard. Uh, the vertex form, and hopefully this will bring light to what these transformations are a little more, is usually written as same f at x is equal to the a value is the same times x, and there's many different letters people use, usually subtracting h as a value, squared, and then plus k. And each of these deal with something different. k does vertical um, translations, h is horizontal translations, and a is stretches and compressions vertically. So if you notice, this set is within a set of brackets. And that really corresponds to our um, h value here that's in a set of brackets. So the idea is kind of like they've taken any of these x values, okay, and they've placed, um, replaced the h with the value of 3, okay? So I'll rewrite again what they have. Uh, we'll call it g at x because it's a technically a, um, a different function here. We'll say g at, and another way to write it is x, um, or actually, no, let's write it as a function where x is minus 3. So x minus 3. So what we'll be doing is we're replacing a, or not a, sorry, but the x is now subtracted by 3 squared plus b. Again, the x is subtracted by 3 and then plus c. And what that is is a horizontal translation. And because h is the opposite of what we're used to, if um, if this value within the brackets is h, that means we're moving it right or in a, um, oh, sorry, if it's positive, we're moving it to the left or in a negative direction. And if the h value is negative, we move it to the right or in a positive direction. So a little counterintuitive. So what that means is this negative 3 is essentially we're moving to the right in a positive direction, oops, 3 units. Okay, and that's what it's talking about here. So this function should have been moved three units to the um, to the right in a positive direction. So before I show you graphs of this, we'll take a look here. This one here is essentially going to be our answer. We're taking the original m and the original n and we're moving them three units to the right. This one is three to the left. This is squaring the values and these are leaving it where it is. And none of those are it. We're looking at the top answer here as our answer. But let's try to make a little more visual sense of what it is I'm talking about. So if you notice here, I have our um, f at x there. So I'm just going to turn this on. So we have our, our f at x, and that's our green function here. And then I have the same f at x, subtract 3. And if you'll notice the x um, intercepts, so this one's at negative 3, is now at 0. So it's moved 3 units to the right. And this one at 2 is moved 3 units to the right again. It's now at the value of 5. Okay. So there's a 3 unit difference in terms of the x intercepts. Um, on top of that, if you notice, 
Um, I'm going to actually replace these threes with this letter H. And I'm going to just show you how we can move it around, just like we said it was a, a value of H. Okay. So right now H is 3, so it's 3 units to the right. But as I play H, you'll see it goes farther and farther. So as H decreases and it becomes negative, it moves to the left. And this is going pretty fast. Let's see if I can slow it down a little. There we go. So as H increases 1, 2, 3, you can see that these X values, and it's going pretty slow here, are moving farther and farther to the right. So depending on what these values are, the farther it moves to the right. And as it comes down, it's it's moving to the left. And as it becomes, um, as h would be 0, it'd be the original equation. Let's see if I can pause it right on. Ooh, oh, I missed. But negative 0 0.3, it's negative 0 0.3 to the left a little, and it again moving to the left. So that's how that transforming relationship kind of works between those two values. So let's put h back at 3, what our original question was. Okay, And there you have it.